Hello to all you lovely human beings and welcome to a brand new Cursed Outspawn PK series. Now, I started this series way back in February of 2022 and I've been working on it in secret for almost two years. This account is my journey of merching only via the TP, which is Spawn PK's Grand Exchange, starting with nothing but 100 million GP, or one bag as it's referred to in Spawn PK. If you're new to Spawn PK, you can equate one bag or 100 mil to have the spending power of about 100 GP on RuneScape. So it's not a lot to start with, but I wanted to see how far I could take it, with no trading or donations from anyone else besides my own account for the first 100 mil. I hope you all enjoyed this new series. A lot of work has gone into it. Now, let's teleport back to 2022. Hello folks, welcome to a brand new Cursed Out series. We're gonna be a trained account on this one. And of course, we gotta get that classic Cursed Out look. This series is a simple, simple concept. Oh, what's that? Only use TPs received to trade from Cursed Out? That's crazy because he's gonna give him a 75 mil. We accept that, we accept that, we accept that, we accept that, and this will be the start of our brand new merging series. And I actually decided to start this today. I thought about doing it a bunch. I decided to start this today simply for the reason that I saw these obsidian plate bodies and plate legs in here for one bag each, and I know we can flip them for three. We can triple our money that easy, baby. Let's put it in there, boom, three. And uh, yeah, this, this account is super simple. Our goal, our only goal is to get to one trill through using the TP only. Look what we logged into, baby. Look at that item listing purchases to claim at the marketplace. Hell to the yes. Our obsidian plate bodies over 300 mil, very nice. And the next item I'm gonna invest in right now is Morgan's Javelins. You see this huge price disparity here? Um, this should be a decent chunk of profit from these. Yeah, we can afford them all and we could buy something else. But first let's pop these bad boys in here for seven mil each and see if we can get Oh, that'd be, that'd be a big, big double your money moment, huh? Look at that. We go from three, 300 mil to 900 three mil. I think for starting out, me buying out these like small amounts of blood money here, like this 14 mil, yeah, nothing to anyone else. But to me, that's a pretty decent little little uh, little investment. So we'll, put, we'll buy those out for eight. It looks like it's going for way more. We'll put it back in for 18. Uh, and that'll be a nice 80 mil profit right there, which again, sounds like not a lot, but at our current stage, any win is a big win, you know? So once this all sells, we'll have a billion GP. This may take a while. Okay, so we are back on the only use TP account. Uh, I waited a little while. Uh, the Morgan's Javelins are not selling that quickly, but the blood money sold as we think it would. We've got, okay, four bags to work with. That's actually not that bad. Um, I saw these magic tokens in here for cheap, two mil each. Great, I'll buy those out for 92, and then we'll flip them for double. We'll get 184 out of them. So put these in here for four mil each. I have a, I have a risky plan here, but I think it might work. So um, every time the Wandering Merchant comes around, every Monday, uh, Elder Chaos items for a moment can go up to five bags each approximately. So we're gonna buy out all four of these and we're gonna put them all in for, I guess I'm gonna do the, the bottom at 10, the top at 10, and the hood at, at 10. You know, we, we might as well go all out, right? And I'll also nab these out of the TP so that mine are the first ones that show up um, because we have, we have the most here, right? So we'll put this in, boom, we have 97 of those or 95 of those, I can't do math right right now 95 and then put this in for 10 and just hope and pray that it sells this in for 10 because again come wandering merchant nobody cares how much they're paying for these right they just want to have them so if we have them right we can get them a little closer to their task perhaps just perhaps we can make a big profit back on the only used tp account which we'll get a name change soon i swear so i i, I lowered these down from 10 to 1 because i realized i was being too optimistic with it um, we got the Morgan's Javelins all sold, which is nice, and all the magic tokens sold too. So we're working with nine bags and 400 mil in here. So with these, we can merch them uh, for double. They usually sell for like two bags each. That's gonna double our money there. It's gonna be eight bags instead of four. It is hard merching with such a small amount of money, but this actually is pretty nice. Okay, cool. We're gonna buy these Dragon Throne Axes here and we're gonna put them back in for, I'm gonna call it 8.5 mil each. We got them for five each. So that's a pretty decent profit. It's gonna be 200 mil profit. And then I'm also gonna buy one Bludgeon and put it in for two bags each as well. Um, just cause it'll probably sell over time, right? And now, if we look in our TP, we have two bills, so we're almost approaching the max cash mark. This is very hard, guys. I wouldn't think it'd be that hard. I mean, I get that like starting small is, is small, right? But it's not like RuneScape where you can leave an offer in for, for like a buy offer and hope to get maybe like somebody's adamant skirt trimmed for one GP, you know? 
This is like, people see this stuff in the TP all the time, so it's a little different, but we will get to the big stuff soon, I promise. All right, I don't know why I record these at such weird hours, but uh, it is currently three in the morning, uh, and we have some stuff that's sold in our TP. Let's see, so we sold the Elder Cast top, the hood, and the tentacles and the bludgeon. That's very nice. Okay, cool. 12 bags there now. We're just waiting on this other stuff to sell here. There's some cheap abyssal daggers that I'm actually going to invest in here. Um, we're going to get as many of these as we can. So I think it's going to be like 14. Oh, no, we can get more than 14. What's wrong with my math? We can get all of them. Cool. We're going to buy all of these abyssal daggers plus these two. And then, or plus one of these, I guess. And then we're going to put them all back in at four each. Um, that would be amazing if we could sell all these. It would be, I don't know, it would quadruple our bank, I guess. So that would be really, really sick. Um, I think in time it can happen. So that would be, that would be a bill, which would be oh, chef's kiss, you know? That can only use TP. What do we have here? Oh, only four of these sold. That is depressing, but I did log in today because I saw something in the TP that I can invest in. There's a bunch of cheap abyssal tentacles. Uh, I'm going to buy out all of these here. Uh, and I'm also going to buy out two of these bad boys. And then we're going to put them back in for two each, and we'll sell these for 22 bags total. Uh, and the, the daggers will sell. We sold two of them already. It's only a matter of time before we have 10 bill. We have some stuff that's sold in our TP. Let's see. Okay, so all the Dragon Throne Axes, one of the Elder Chaos Robes, and 11 of the Abyssal Tentacles. Uh, again, these will still sell eventually. Let me find another item to invest in. We got 29 bags at the moment, so that's not bad. So these I've seen sell for like nine bags each. So we're gonna buy all of these and put them back in for, let's call it 10. Uh, so that'll turn nine bag investment into a 30 bag investment. Uh, hopefully that sells. And Dragon Bones occasionally sell for like 900 milli, or 900K each. Um, there's a ton in here for like 100k so we're gonna buy out all of these real quick this is not a big investment for like a pretty decent return on investment we'll put the, all these back in for 900k each so 3k coins 900k boom okay good little investment there cheap lava whip sitting in here for 10 bags absolutely gimme gonna throw it back in for 30 34 i think uh, so that's a 2.4 bill profit there and the rest i'm gonna spend on some elder chaos stuff just because again it's easy yeah they'll always sell for one bag each at least right so we'll put those back in for one each it's a small profit but it's something Ooh, okay a cheap light infinity hat i feel like i don't see these very often in the tp so we're gonna buy this three bags that seems very cheap to me you look at that three days ago sold for four bill i'm gonna put this in for 40 bags that would be a big old profit I would like that to sell very much. Uh, and last thing, just because I have the bags, I'm gonna buy a Morgan's Quiff for three bags and put it back in for, I'm gonna say 10 actually, because these won't sell no matter what to the Wandering Merchant round comes up. So hopefully someone will, will need it for that and we'll sell it for a bill. TP looking very pretty right now, 20.8 bill in here. We just gotta wait till Monday and mwah, chef's kiss. Okay, back on the only used TP account, let's see. Okay, we sold our Dragon Bones, we sold Elder Chaos Hood, one of them, one on the air our Morgan's Coif, and the Lava Whip. Okay, that's not bad. We got eight bill to work with in cash. We're gonna adjust all of our prices real quick as well, because I want these things to sell. Honestly, my prices are not that bad after looking at them. Um, so we'll just, we just gotta wait on those items. I guess that's the thing with, uh, with like weird little items, huh? Semi-cheap Ellie right here. We'll put that back in for eight bill. So that's, that's a nice, uh, nice, easy little two bill profit. And we're at our stage, that's significant. Uh, I'm gonna purchase these because it's almost Wanderer Day. So I'm gonna buy one red and three greens. And we're gonna put them back in at seven. It's not a huge profit, but like, it's nice to just have all of our money spent, you know? So we'll put that in and we'll put this in. And I think that's like a good, like one to two bill profit. I'm not, I'm not good with math right now. But uh, if this all sells, we get 22 bill. Back to only use TP, baby. Let's check this shit out. Boom. Elder Chaos Robe sold. Elder Chaos Hood sold. Six of the Abyssal Dagger sold, which is a nice little chunk of change. Both Undead Be Care Pets sold. The Light Infinity Hat and the Ellie sold. Now we're just waiting on these last 10 daggers and the Halloween masks. But all things in time, we got 15 bill to work with, which is very nice. Okay, this is a big investment, but it's worth it. There's a 10 bill granite mall right now. We could sell this easy, like easy, easy, easy for 162, which is not doubling our money, but like a very, 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 very nice amount of money that we've just made there when it sells. I switched the prices on the daggers and the mask just because I wanted to get out of the TP finally. 
All right, and this is maybe an unsmart investment, maybe it is, because these do sell every once in a while for more. We're gonna buy these two lava whoops for 2.5 and 2.6. Um, these sold a day ago, which means that it's a high volume item, right? And so we can probably sell these two for about 48 each, doubling our money on each whip. Not doubling exactly, but you know what I mean, close enough. Once this all sells, our bank is at 31.2 bill, which again, we started with one bag, so I say we're in a pretty goddamn good place. Thank <laughs> you.